Hey guys, it's Commander Drew here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing Nick Fuentes versus Vouch. So let's get into this. So we'll start in California where obviously Vouch is easily going to win California. You know, obviously all the agents, you know, from China, from Japan, from Vietnam, they're all communist. And they're going to come out huge for Vouch to be part of his communist army in California. Um, obviously easily going to Vouch. Dan's going to be a third party. He's going to be stealing a lot of the, oh, you know, open borders Republican, all the Gen Z Republicans. Um, Dan's going to be getting their votes in California. California and pretty much all over the country all the open borders Republicans right away from Nick Fuentes who don't want to be America first um, so California easily goes to Vouch um, and Alaska obviously goes to Nick Fuentes and Hawaii easily goes to Vouch you know Hawaii is the most communist state in the country and then obviously uh, Arizona you know Lalo is gonna be endorsing the libertarian candidate Dan you know Lalo is gonna be like we need to stay right-wing economically economically and he also weirdly thinks Nick Fuentes is gay which is weird he I don't know why he thinks Nick Fuentes is gay but He's going to be doing fiery rallies with John McCain in the dry heat. You know, getting the neocons huge out for Dan. All the, all the open border Republicans in Arizona out for Dan in Arizona. And all, also Utah obviously comes out huge for Daniel. Thou and her army of simps come out huge for Dan in Utah. You know, they're all neocons in Utah. And then obviously Nevada. DXD doesn't like Nick Fuentes. He doesn't like Val. So he's going to be endorsing Dan. He's going to endorse Dan, pay billions of dollars to those prostitutes so they can come out huge for Dan in Nevada. So he's also going to win Nevada. And then obviously Oregon, you know, Blue Voyager, fiery rally, suppressing the Republican vote, putting Red Voyager in prison, uh, making Oregon go for Vouch. And also Washington, too, obviously with Posty's endorsement, since Posty's a communist, that makes Washington go blue. And then the rest of these farm states, they're all going to go for Nick Fuentes. You know, the farmers are going to wake up to the fact that, you know, they need they, they, they need America first. They, they need an immigration moratorium. We need to save the white race, and that's what Nick Fuentes is going to be saying. Um, it's it's going to work, and the, and the farm states are all going to go for Nick Fuentes. Vouch's Green New Deal is not going to come anywhere near to, to winning any of the farm states. And then, obviously, Texas... Texas with my endorsement, I'm gonna be doing fiery rallies for Nick Fuentes, but it's gonna be very close because you know Dan's gonna be stealing all the open borders Republicans in the suburbs. Um, you're gonna have Michael Bloomberg there spilling billions of billions of ad, billions of ads um, for Vouch, and you know fa Vouch is gonna be doing fiery rallies, fiery shirtless rallies with Beto and his wife. You know Beto's gonna be force feeding avocados to his wife. Um, it's gonna be a whole thing in Texas. You know he's gonna be saying we're gonna take away your AR-15s, we're gonna take away your guns, we're gonna take away everything from you. Um, and, you know demographic changes too in Texas. But you know Nick Fuentes is still gonna win Texas with my endorsement, and then obviously Vouch is going to win Colorado because of the weed. You know, he's going to be doing fiery high rallies. You know, George Floyd's going to be there. Um, and then, obviously, New Mexico also goes for Vouch. You know, demographic changes. Vincent James war warned us. Nick Fuentes warned us, too. And then, obviously, the rest of the South. Um, I don't think the South's going to be pretty split. Because Vouch has this appeal to the South. Obviously, Mississippi, super cucked. They changed their flag. They're super cucked. It's going to go easily for Vouch. And Alabama is going to go for Dan, you know, because Tommy Tuberville is going to be endorsing Dan. He's going to be doing fiery rallies with Dan, you know, calling for amnesty. We need open borders. You know, rights. we need to stay right-wing economically. That's what Tommy Tuberville is going to be saying with Dan in Alabama. And it's going to go for Dan. Alabama goes for Dan. And also, Arkansas goes for Vouch. Because Bill Clinton and, you know, Epstein and you know, all the little girls. Girls, they're gonna be in fiery rallies. Um, it's gonna be a whole thing, and there's it's gonna be like a party in Arkansas, and that's gonna easily go for Vouch. And then obviously, I think George is also gonna go for, go for Dan because Allen, you know, he doesn't like Nick Fuentes, he doesn't like Vouch. Uh, Allen also wants to say right wing economically, so he's gonna be endorsing Dan, um, you know, and keep getting the suburbs out for Dan, and that's gonna win Dan the state of Georgia. And then, and then obviously. Nick Fuentes, obviously, is going to win, you know, Florida. He's going to get the Cubans out huge to vote for him. You know, Xenox is going to come out and endorse him, even though Vouch is going to start a hacking team against Xenox um, to get uh, all the campaign funds from Nick Fuentes over to Vouch so they can have more money in their campaign. But it's just not going to work out. Xenox is also going to be doing the same thing in the Vouch. But it's just not going to work out. They're only going to steal a little bit of money, and it's not going to make a huge difference. And obviously, Trump comes out for Nick Fuentes, too. But, you know, Jared Kushner... 
obviously saying you know you don't want to endorse Nick Fuentes because it's bad optics and you but sex laptop comes out for Nick Fuentes too so it's gonna make Florida go red and North Carolina obviously goes red Backstar is gonna try to get a huge black turnout out for Vouch um you know talk about the Green New Deal how it's gonna help California you know obviously we need a great health care plan um health care for all um universal health care obviously it's not gonna work North Carolina doesn't need it and with Tom Tiddleston far we're suppressing the black vote it's gonna go red easily for Nick Fuentes and then Dan wins Virginia the, you know the establishment's gonna be like oh we're fucked we don't want Vouch but we also don't want Nick Fuentes so they're gonna be coming out for Dan giving Dan billions of dollars he's gonna be doing super well in northern Virginia and it's gonna win in Virginia and then obviously West Virginia comes out huge for Vouch, Vouch you know Fletcher and BTD they're secret communists um they're gonna be doing fiery rallies for Vouch in um uh, in West Virginia, fiery naked rallies in West Virginia for Vouch, making that state go blue. And then obviously Ohio, Dylan Wiley, white stained glass, uh, white stained glass comes out huge for Nick Fuentes, doing fiery racist rallies, stressing the black vote in Ohio, making that state go red in Indiana. Um, you know Vouch is gonna try to use the cat boy gate thing against Nick Fuentes, but it's just not gonna work out in Indiana. Um. Indiana still goes red red for Nick Fuentes, and then Illinois obviously goes for Vouch. You know, Vouch is going to be doing a... And Blue, Vouch and Blue Voyager, they're going to be doing a good job at suppressing the orangutan vote. Um, Nick, Nathan is just not going to do a good job at suppressing the black vote. You know, there's going to be a huge black turnout in Cook County um, for Vouch, and it's going to make Illinois go blue. And then obviously Minnesota goes blue, you know... Elon Omar and Vouch and George Floyd's fiery naked high rallies in Minnesota make that state go blue. And then Wisconsin obviously goes blue. Um, it, Madison comes out huge for Vouch. You know, they're all communists, weirdo communists, according to Red Eagle. And then obviously Nick Fuentes is going to win easily the state of Michigan. You know, Red Eagle and Kathy Zeus fiery rallies in Michigan. They're just going to make, you know, Michigan go red. You know, they're going to be talking about jobs. How Gretchen Wimmer didn't fix the roads, even though she did. It's just that, you know, Reddick was junk when he had a car, car, car crash. And then, um, obviously, uh, Michigan's just going to go red. D Michigan, the white people in Michigan are going to wake up to the fact that, you know, their jobs are being stolen by Chinese communists. And that uh, Vouch is just not going to help Michigan. So they're going to vote for Nick Fuentes. And then D.C. obviously goes blue. Maryland obviously goes blue with LTE, you know, talking about how conservative Vouch is uh, in TikTok and, you know, doing his nails and having fiery gay rallies. That's super conservative. Um, that's what LTE is going to be saying. And then obviously Delaware goes easily for Nick Fuentes with Kevin and Finnegan. With Kevin's hopes of America First being revitalized by Nick Fuentes' nomination, Kevin's going to be doing fire naked rallies with Finnegan and Delaware, making that state easily go for Nick Fuentes. And then... Um, New Jersey goes for Vouch, but Connecticut goes for um, Nick Fuentes. And then Pennsylvania goes for Vouch, obviously. Mike's trying to try to play off the fact that Vouch is a moderate. Um, but no, he's not a moderate. He's a communist, obviously. But the suburbs are going to think he's moderate. And obviously with Fletcher and BTD doing fire and naked rallies in western Pennsylvania saying, you know, Vouch is for coal. Um... And he's for the white race, but Pennsylvania is easily going to over for Vouch because a bunch of cucked people in Pennsylvania are going to convince the white people in Pennsylvania that, you know, Vouch is with them. And then Massachusetts and Rhode Island easily go for Nick Fuentes. You know, Matt Gagnon comes out huge for Nick Fuentes, gives him the Gagnon UBI, which is going to run 99% of his campaign ads. Um... Throughout the whole campaign, um, so Nick Fuentes is going to need Matt Gagnon very much to win, and his fat army in Massachusetts and Rhode, in Rhode Island come out huge for Nick Fuentes, um, obviously. And then New York obviously comes out huge for Nick Fuentes with, um, with um, you know, Kevin and Finnegan's fire naked rallies, arresting AOC, putting her in prison um, for being against America. And Dan comes out for, I mean, Fish comes out for Dan in upstate New York, trying to upset New York, get New York to go to Vouch, but it's just not going to work out. Dan's just not going to do well in the Northeast. Um, and then obviously Sticks, with Sticks endorsing Dan because, you know, we need to stay right economically, and Dan's, and Nick Fuentes is too far right. Vermont goes for, uh, for Dan, and then and then the rest of these, say New Hampshire and Maine, are going to go for, um, they're going to go for, uh, uh, Nick Fuentes. And then our final map has Nick Fuentes winning narrowly, avoiding, um, the, the, the presidential election going to the House. So he's going to win narrowly with 278 electoral votes to Vouch's 196 to Dan 64. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a video request in the comment section below. Um, um, Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Um, Voucher Gaming out.